today Raymond is at the United States Naval Academy. I couldn't be prouder. If he had never attended St. Ignatius, I don't think that he would be lost or, you know, out in the streets, but I know that he wouldn't be where he is today. We didn't know how to dream as big as we dream now. At the academy, I think I, I began my journey of becoming a man. Um, I, at the academy, I established that, okay, I don't want to be in the streets. I don't want to be about the life of crime. And I knew at that point I wanted to go into a more scholastic uh, mentality and I wanted to thrive and be something that my parents and my community could be proud of. So there we were, late August 1993, and the school was opening for the uh, first days in late August, and I was completely thinking about, let's get through our first year, and that was the project. I wasn't really dreaming about 25 years later, but I guess now looking back, I was, I'm simply astounded at what has happened in those 25 years. I came here because my mother loved me enough to value my education and she knew that I wanted to be around a group of my friends and counterparts who also had parents who value education as well. Ever since I was little I knew that I had to be somebody for my parents because they worked harder for me. But St. Ignatius broadened that aspect, that point of view and it made it clear. It made it more seeable, like it could actually happen instead of just a dream. Curtis is the envious of, of my old neighborhood. Uh, young men want to be like him because they saw that coming here uh, uh, gave him dignity and pride just to be a black young man coming from a neighborhood that wasn't, didn't, didn't give you a lot of opportunities. Academically, really teaching me how to think and be logical and methodical in my work, um, really opened me up to subjects around history and religion and or that, that I w would not have gotten an opportunity to learn anywhere else. Um, it just really kind of expanded my mind in a myriad of ways about what the world is and what it could be. From sixth grade to eighth grade, we knew that when we graduated that we were becoming men for others and it meant you know, chivalry, it meant togetherness, it meant uh, ethical behavior, it meant, um, you know, taking on responsibilities that would guide us to where we were going at in the future. By graduating from the academy, I learned so much about what it meant to be a man for others. and what it meant to care for the next person and not always think about myself first. And there's just this whole cadre of loving adults who are there to help that young boy deal with whatever problems he may encounter as he starts to develop into a man. So the thing that surprised me most is how the academy and the faculty keep in touch with the boys as they grow into men and to see them through a successful high school and college and into their first jobs um, that's just extraordinary. I never heard of a middle school who chose or who, who basically still keeps in contact with their kids in college. The skills that I learned here at the academy grew my interest into math and science and physics and transformed my, my skills into a full-blown career as an electrical engineer. Well, I think the impact of Ignatius is you literally have hundreds of, of men today uh, who have gone through the school and who are, uh, are productive members of society. They're lawyers, teachers, uh, that otherwise might not, might not be in that role in our community. I literally think that St. Ignatius Loyal Academy is the single greatest thing going for Baltimore City. If I did not attend St. Ignatius during my middle school years, I feel as though I would not, for one, be in college. 
Saying that just made me into the person I am right now. It allowed me to grow, it allowed me to mature. Um, in the spring of 2019, I'll be applying to medical school and I'm just beyond excited for the next journey um, in, my cha in the chapter of my life. I don't know what I'd do without, first of all, coming here, and second off, the people that are here to support me and alumni. They still support me and all the other kids. They truly do care about their community. Had I not come to St. Ignatius, um, I feel like I would have suffered the same fate as a lot of the guys that grew up in the neighborhood that I grew up in. Um, some of those guys are dead now. Um, I even lost my brother um, about two years ago, and I still go back home and I see some of the same guys that I shared a classroom with that are still on the block doing the same thing they did um, at the ages they were when we were growing up. I want to be an artist because I'm very good at drawing. I want to be a preacher just like my father. I want to be an engineer and a detective. I want to work in the bank. I want to be either in the NBA or I want to be like a community activist, do stuff for my community. I was thinking about being a veterinarian and or a chef. Well, when I grow up, I want to be a lawyer and help my family get out in the situation we are in right now.